in open channel. The specific energy is defined as the total head, H, using the bed elevation Z0 as a datum, E equals H minus Z0. For a rectangular channel, the combination of the specific energy definition on the continuity principle gives a cubic relationship between the specific energy and the water depth. For a fixed specific energy, E, the relationship between the flow rate and the water depth is shown. That relationship has a maximum unit discharge on two situations of zero discharge when the water depth is equal to E or equal to zero. The relationship between unit discharge and water depth presents a maximum when the water depth is equal to two-thirds of the specific energy in a rectangular channel, that is, for critical flow condition D equal DC. For a rectangular channel, the maximum discharge at critical flow condition can then be expressed. The expression of the maximum discharge for a given total head was first formulated by Professor Jean-Baptiste Bélanger for the flow above a broad crested weir. Another classical application is a culvert. In a culvert, the hydraulic design is an optimum between discharge capacity, egg loss, and construction cost. And for short culverts, the flow is typically designed to operate at critical flow condition in the barrel for the design discharge, to maximize the discharge per unit width, to minimize the barrel width, and in turn, to minimize the costs.